the hand is quicker than the eye. Now you've probably heard this phrase a million times when it comes to talking about magic because that's how everyone always seems to think magic is done. Basically the idea is that the magician is moving something so small and so fast that you can't actually see it. But I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. That is completely and totally false for two reasons. Thing number one, the hand not quicker than the eye. It's just, it's just not true. The eye is very fast. But the second thing is that the real reason magic and magic tricks work is because your brain isn't perfect. And I don't mean like you specifically, you, like I mean like everybody's, every, the human brain, not perfect. So what a lot of magicians do is we take advantage of psychological quirks that people don't realize they have. Now the reason why these psychological quirks exist is because over the many, 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 many generations of people existing on the planet, our brain has learned to become more efficient and take shortcuts. And there's a bunch. There's a bunch of different shortcuts and little tricks your brain does to make things run more efficiently and under normal circumstances, it's fine. So because the world, generally speaking, works the way it should, our brain takes those little shortcuts to make things more efficient so your brain can jump from point A to point Z and know what fills in the gaps. Magicians over the millennia that there have been magicians have learned this. And they realize that that is why people fall for magic tricks because their brain is making a shortcut to an expected outcome that isn't the actual outcome. Now there is an exhaustive list of what these little quirks in our minds actually are. Selective attention, false memories, change blindness, etc., 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 etc. But if you want to understand the inner workings of the mind on magic, I have one place for you to go that is probably the best source. And that is this. This is one of my favorite books. It's called Slights of Mind by Stephen Macknick and Susanna Martinez Conda. And this whole book is these two people, they're neuroscientists. They studied magic and they got together with some of the world's leading magicians at the time talked about magic did the studies and stuck it all in a book for you to read because what macknick and martinez conda do in this book is they expose those little quirks in our brain and how magic takes advantage of them so if you want to know a little bit more about how your brain doesn't work but in the most fun way possible i can't recommend this enough